you guys, it's Vijaya back at you with another video. And in this one, I'm gonna show you how to make one of my childhood favorites. It's my mom's recipe for green chili chicken burgers. Now in our household, we don't eat beef, so growing up, my mom would make chicken burgers at home. But of course she had to put some sort of Indian flair in them, and that's how these burgers came to be. They're juicy, they're a little spicy, they're crispy on the outside, they're all the things. And then when you stuff them in a burger bun with a little bit of mayo and lettuce, oh, let me tell you, girl, it's delicious. But before we get started, don't forget to hit me up on my social media channels. You guys know how much I love that. And of course, if you're looking for the full recipe, just click that info box down below and everything you need is there. Let's make some burgers. So we're starting off with a little bit of ground chicken for this recipe, which I got from the butcher at my local grocery store. And this is a combination of dark and white meat, which means it's gonna be really juicy and tender in the middle. And of course, we've gotta spice things up, so I have a few things that I'm gonna add. So we're gonna start off by chopping up our green chilies. I have five Thai green chilies here, which are really, really spicy, so use as few or as many as you like, and we're gonna chop them up really, really thinly. And we're gonna chop up some fresh coriander, also known as cilantro, and it has a beautiful citrusy flavor to it, and it's gonna add a lot of brightness to our burgers. I'm gonna grate up a little bit of fresh garlic and some freshly grated ginger. And we're gonna season things up with a little bit of salt. So I have some handy dandy gloves here. I'm gonna put them on before we get mushing away. Does the glove fit? <laughs> okay, <laughs> now we're gonna mush our chicken mixture together. Let's do it. So we're gonna just fold everything into each other, making sure not to overwork the meat because you want nice and tender burgers. And already I can smell the ginger, the garlic, the coriander. It smells amazing. And these are ready to be formed into patties. I think that looks good. So I have a little glass of cold water here. I'm just gonna dip my gloves in and that's just gonna make it really easy to form the chicken balls because we're not making them into patties yet. And I'm gonna pinch off a little bit of the meat mixture like so and then set it on my baking sheet. And we're gonna keep doing this for the rest of the meat. these guys. So I have a couple of large eggs that I've whisked up and that's going to sort of serve as the glue to which the breadcrumbs are going to stick. So I'm going to grab my little ball like here, like this, not like here, like this, <laughs> drop it into the egg and then gently sort of turn it around to coat and then I'm going to drop it into my breadcrumb, breadcrumbs, can't even speak today, and then pat it out and then cover it all over so that once they're fried up, they're nice and crispy. And then we're just gonna shape it into our patty shape. Mmm. And just like that, the first one's done. My burgers are beautifully breaded and they are crying to be fried up, so we're gonna hit the stove and get a nice and beautiful crust on them. So my pan is on medium heat and I have a little bit of canola oil in there. That's what's gonna give us a beautiful crisp. I'm gonna gently lower in my burgers and cook them for about three to four minutes on each side until they're nice and golden and crunchy and cooked all the way through to the middle. So I have some super traditional burger buns. You guys know exactly the ones I'm talking about. And all I've done is I've split them in half and buttered them on both sides. And they're gonna go into a hot pan and we're gonna toast them until they're nice and golden and crispy on both sides. Okay, so my buns are toasted and now it's time to assemble. My mouth is literally watering because between the buttery toasted buns and the fried chicken burger, it smells so good in here right now, you guys. 
and the assembly could not be easier. So I'm gonna take one of my buns, and then I'm gonna take one of my burgers, and we're gonna place the burger, oh, look at how perfect it fits on the bun perfectly, and then I'm gonna get my top bun and smear it with a lot of mayonnaise, cause that's how my mom did it, and I love, love, love mayo. Get a mound of shredded iceberg lettuce. It's so important to use iceberg because it's crunchy, it's crispy, and I love when it hangs off like that. So, so good. And then we just top it like that. Mmm, mmm, look at it. It looks amazing. It's time to dive in, and there's only one type of bite that you can take with this, and that's a big bite. Okay, let's go for it. Do I have stuff on my face? I don't even know. This burger brings back so many childhood memories. Firstly, the bun is squidgy and buttered, which I absolutely love with that little bit of crunch. And then once you hit the burger, that combination of the creamy mayonnaise paired with the juicy, crispy burger and that hit of chili that comes through is unreal. You saw that it only took a few ingredients that went into that brown meat to create this flavor profile, and it will be unlike any other burger you've had before in your life. It's so simple, it's so delicious. You guys have to try my mom's green chili chicken burgers because they are honestly the best. Mom, they're the best. Shout out to you. You, you know everything and you passed it on to me and now I can pass it on to my viewers. Thanks so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give me a big ol' thumbs up. You know how that makes me feel. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe for more videos. And as always, if you have a question, comment, or request, leave it in the comments box down below. Until my next video, I will see you all later. Bye.